hi there welcome back to my channel my name is rachel and if you're new to my channel please go ahead and hit the subscription button and don't forget of course to turn on the notification button so that you never miss a new video when i drop it now this is december oh no we we are coming to the beginning of december and i thought about doing some stretching bar stretching is one of the ways you can keep your muscles flexible muscles healthy and of course in good movement so i thought maybe i should dedicate two good months of stretching and beginning from this workout or from this video you're going to only be seeing only stretching routines at least for the next two months through christmas and of course christmas is a very quiet uh, cozy time and who doesn't want to have some good health some nice and flexible muscles to be able to enjoy those christmas holidays with your family so today i'm going to do a, a full body stretch and of course this is a very simple stretch but i always tell you that before you engage in any kind of physical activity it's always very clever to consult your physician or your personal doctor okay so without wasting any more time let's get started so uh, this stretch routine is going to be simple it's a full body stretch routine so we're going to aim at stretching all the muscles in our body that we can and so right now i'm just gonna begin off by just exhaling and just being comfortable creating that comfortable environment so that i can work out so i'm just gonna prepare my lungs by inhaling and exhaling before i can begin the stretch routine so you can begin in any uh, posture that you want but i like sitting like this because it's give, it, it gives me that comfort that i like to have during my workout so let's go ahead and breathe in and breathe out to be able to draw in the lungs to draw in the air into our lungs and be able to expand the diaphragm so we're gonna breathe in breathe out when you breathe in you should hold in your stomach muscles but being able to draw in a lot of air into your lungs and hold it You can do this up to 10 times or up to the times you feel like now you're comfortable to begin stretching. So we're gonna go back to this position and you're gonna open up and butterfly and hold it there. But while you hold it there, put your hands on your ankles and try to exert some pressure as you pull yourself forward. This exercise is gonna straighten out your back and as well as your ribs you should feel some tension here in your ribs or you could hold your hands here on your toes and pull back now I like this one better because it gives me a pull a general pull in the entire body I can feel my muscles here being stretched I can feel my uh, inner thighs being stretched my outer thighs are also being stretched and of course I can also feel some stretch in my shin and also in my uh, calf muscles that's why I called it a, a whole body a full body stretch so let's go you can relax by, by just twisting your neck in circles now this stretch as well gives you a good good stretch in your lower back but be careful not to hurt your lower back be gentle with yourself while you're doing this kind of ex exercise or stretch let's go you could hold this for another 30 to 40 seconds depending on what you want
and once you're done with that you're gonna get back down into your onto your fours get onto your fours and when you're there you're gonna go down and put, put I don't know if you can see put your toes your legs together like that and you're gonna go rock back and forth and you should be on your hands like this or on your how do you call those in English these ones so let's go rock back and hold it like this you could hold this position for about 30 seconds but always listen to your body when you feel like you're tired stop right there and repeat it again get up stretch it out get back stretch out and now we're gonna repeat the same let's go down Hold it there. Now these are simple stretches that you can always do at home, but like I said, always consult your physician or your personal doctor before you try them out. So next up, we're just gonna stretch our hamstrings and the thigh as well. Just grab one of your legs and fold it up like this and bring your the sole of your foot should be touching the opposite knee and this position hold it right there like that making sure that you keep a straight back of course and press down this other folded thigh onto the floor trying to make it complicated by trying to reach your toes like that now this exercise is going to give you a very good stretch in your back muscles as well as your spine. Don't bend down like this, but rather keep your hand straight up like that. Now this exercise is also going to stretch your muscles right here as well as your general back muscles as well and your back as well. Now try to hold this for some time. 30 to 40 seconds is good enough. Once you're done with that, switch it up for another leg, for the opposite leg. Fold it up like that. The other leg straight. Make sure that this other leg is placed down onto the floor. Try reaching for your toes. As you can see, this exercise is also stretching your, your muscles right here. Depends on how tight your hand is as well. Make sure it's as tight as possible as you stretch up that arm. It's also going to help those who have a chicken fillet. I call this one a chicken fillet. So if you have a chicken fillet, this is also a very good exercise for you as it's going to stretch out this muscle and make it less flabby. Once you're done with that, get into this position and relax. Sit up straight. After sitting up straight, you're going to go up, hands back. You're going to raise yourself from the ground up and stretch. Try to point your, your toes to the ground and stretch out into this position. Hold this for about 30 to 40 seconds or shorter if you like. Now this 
position makes my hands shake because I'm not very stable. I'm going to stop right there. Like I always say, listen to your body. It knows you best. Now we're going to go and stretch out our knees. We're going to do some knee stretch. I'll give you some other angle. Begin out straight like this. Now once you're in that, that, assume that position, back is straight. You're gonna hold back your hands for support and you're gonna do some knee stretch. Simple knee stretches for your knees and back down. This exercise is also very good for your hip bone right here. As that movement gives you a very good stretch and tension in the in in your hip bones here, right here, as well as of course your knee. So we're gonna do this five times. for the opposite leg. One, two, three, four, five. And once you're done, always take breaks whenever you feel like. It's very important to give your muscles or your body a rest. And now, next exercise. So you're gonna, I call them seat backs. You're gonna think if I do this position, it'll be better. Assume that position. Maybe put your legs a bit wider. And you're gonna go sit back and up again and squeeze your glutes. Sit back up again and squeeze your glutes sit back up again squeeze glutes Next exercise, guys, is gonna be leg raise. You're just gonna lie straight up and you're just gonna raise your leg up and hold it right there for some time and release. When, when you release, take it back. Bring it front back into this position. Raise leg again. Bring it back down. Take it now. I can't go further because of my couch, but you can take your leg backward further if you have space. Bring it back up. While in this position, you can pause it for some time right there. Or you can bring it directly down, stretch back, bring it back position, and stretch front. I'm going to repeat the same for the opposite leg. You're going to raise the leg up, you can hold it there. Bring it back down slowly. Stretch back. Bring it back in position. And 
fold front back into that position now that I have space on the opposite side I can nicely stretch to the maximum now, leg up bring back down stretch backwards back into the position and stretch front back to that position leg up back down stretch backwards back to that position and stretch front up stretch backward stretch front up back down stretch front you can decide to take a break Next, next exercise, you're going to stretch your, your toes. Just point your toes to the ground like that and hold that position. Rest back up. Point your toes to that position. Rest back up. Point your toes. Now this exercise is also gonna stretch your ankles. Rest back up. You're gonna repeat the same for the other leg. Point your toes. You had that crack? Rest back up. Point your toes. And this exercise, by the way, is also gonna give you a stretch in here. I feel some stretch in my hip bone right here so it looks to be simple but you're gonna get some good benefits from it point your toes back down point your toes and back down you can do this up to a couple of times depending on how much time you have for your workout relax now, next from there, we're just going to do some knee bends. Don't rush through this, just enjoy it while keeping a straight back, of course. You can even use your hands to support your back, whatever you feel like. Always make sure your back is straight. While you lower that that sole, that heel, make sure you give it a little push. Exert some pressure on your soles. Like that. Like that. Like that. That's when you'll get the best benefit out of it while you exert some pressures on your soles. Next up is going to be lying down on your back. Fold your legs like this. And relax into a butterfly. While you relax, make sure that your back is not arched. Make sure that your back is straight on the floor. Not like this, but like this. And then relax right there.
you could do this after a couple of times maybe five times and then you relax now this workout is completed i hope to see you again in another video and we're gonna stretch those muscles and some of us who are inflexible after two months we hope to be flexible again and of course gaining the other benefits of stretch routines and i hope to see you again in another stretch routine or another video of mine don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like and share this video and of course tell a friend to come and join the family so from me to you adios bye bye